Hey guys, my name is Hector Della Canal. I'm a real estate broker here in Miami. Today is Wednesday. Wednesday is for open houses. So I'm gonna be bringing you guys along as I check out some really cool properties here in Coconut Grove and Coral Gables. Let's go check them out. The first house I'm at, this house is on almost half an acre in Coconut Grove or right on Tiger Tail. And this house is going for 3.5 million. And I just got a chance to walk through the property real quick. Really cool house, very different, very bohemian. Kind of are in your own little bungalow here in the jungle. And uh, you have your own little garden and everything. Here, I'll spin around, have a cool little sitting areas and just look at all the trees and everything around me. Really, really cool little property. Let's go see the inside. We are inside the house here that has a really cool like garden living room area with this is the first time I've ever seen coral rock that's all raw like this and that I actually like it. Um, I built a house here in Miami, had a whole wall covered in that stuff and it just looked awful, but this kind of fits. Uh, you're in this cool little jungle glass room, completely surrounded, really awesome. here which is nice for everyone and then before I take you guys out back let's go check out the private gym which is really cool there's a two-car garage behind that door and then you have a little space here for we're in the back of the house you have a nice outdoor barbecue you can put some lounge chairs here there's a nice six-person table over there the house on the outside is a little funky looking it does have metal roofs which is a great feature especially living in coconut grove with so many trees um, you do save a lot on your energy bills it is a little bit of a funky exterior but the interior is actually really really nicely renovated let's go check it out so now going up these funky spiral stairs and this is supposed to be the master See, this house has a lot of charm, being it has all these different angle roofs and everything. Um, and look at look at your entryway to go to your closet. It's cool, it's funky, it's different. The Grove is about funky stuff like that. So we have a toilet and probably the smallest sink. Like, here's my hand for scale. Like, this is the smallest sink I've ever seen in my life. And then we have the real bathroom. Just look at all the marble in here. So that was house one, a little funky. Definitely the design is different than everything else you see in Coconut Grove, but it still really goes with Coconut Grove. The coral rock wall, kind of the little gardens out here. Really interesting house, but uh, we have a lot more to see today. So let's hit the road. We are outside house number two for today. This house, they are asking 6.9 million. It is 7,200 square feet, six bedrooms, eight bathrooms, and just looks pretty awesome. Let's go see. We are gonna check out the backyard. There seems to be a really nice summer kitchen out here. And look, this house is right on a canal, a huge pool. You have a jacuzzi up here, which is nice, so you can kind of hang out and see everything. I'm sure they have all sorts of lighting features built in. And you guys can see the little waterfall here. And you can look at all the other pretty houses and boats that pass by. We are upstairs in this really cool house. We're on the south side of Coconut Grove. This is the master bedroom. Has a huge balcony on here. Has a outdoor shower, which is pretty cool. With the little saloon style doors. Nice outdoor shower. Really get to enjoy the view. We are on the roof deck. This house has a third story roof deck. And just look at the houses and the view and everything around me. Really cool property on the canal. So if you leave the canal right back here and in like 
500 feet from there, you're right into the open ocean. So a really good location. If you're a boater, this is an awesome, awesome house. Let's go check out the master bath. So that was house two. I really like that house. I think it had some really cool features for a house that size, 7,200 square feet is a lot, but it has some angled roofs and stuff like that. So it adds some cool features to it. Let's go check out house number three. I hear this house is pretty special. So we are outside the largest house of the day. This house is 12,500 square feet. It has eight bedrooms, nine bathrooms on over an acre, and they're asking 4.5 million. What's nice is you have a really nice long private driveway here, and you have a four car garage, two on that side, and then two on this side. Check out this star lit movie theater. Eight person seating, this used to be a bedroom, but since this house has eight bedrooms, I figured they could add a movie theater and it, another bedroom wouldn't be missed. Here we are in the game room slash bar, pool table over another fireplace. And you have a really nicely built bar and a temperature controlled wine room in the back, which is really cool. We are inside the master bedroom. That's a king size bed and it fits very nicely in here. They have a sofa. This house has four fireplaces and tons of space. You have a little wet bar here in the master because the kitchen is kind of far. And we are in the master bath. Mother of pearl in the floors. Freestanding tub, and you see something missing? There is no hardware to fill the tub, but it comes from the ceiling, drops all the way into the tub, so you have no faucet or anything around it. Something really cool, a different detail. So I absolutely love this house from the style from the outside in the front. I wasn't too convinced, but once I got to walk through the house and really see the detail, they spent over $80,000 in just in mill work for all the ceilings, coffered ceilings, crown molding, really, really cool details in this house. I really like this one. So we have one more house to check out today. Let's hit the road. We are outside the last house of the day. This house is eight bedrooms, 12 bathrooms, and they are asking 5.5 million. Let's go check it out. I just got a full tour of this house. I think it has six kitchens. I've never seen a house with this many kitchens and formal, informal living areas. There's like seven. So we're gonna go check a few of them out. This house is absolutely massive. I don't know what you would need this much space for. And I'm told that the owners originally only had one kid and there's like eight or nine bedrooms in this house. So absolutely ridiculous. Let's go check it out. So this is one of four or five living rooms that there is in this house. There's kitchens everywhere. So I showed you guys the main kitchen. Here's an, a full additional kitchen. I'm not buying not even 50 feet from the other one. So it's <laughs> really interesting. We have like a full game room and a movie theater over here. Nice, see you could use this space, a whole nother living area. You can set up card night and stuff like that. 
full bar. We have our, a little different than the last house. Uh, this movie theater is a lot more like an actual theater, which I think is fun. And you have like a little mini stage and a big screen here. And then walking through, we have a little gym or what used to be the gym in here. And a probably the biggest in-home steam room I have ever seen. You could have six, seven people very comfortably in there. And it has another door to the bedroom that is right in here. And look, another kitchen. This room does not have a little like family room area, but it's a really good sized space. Full bath with connects to that steam room. And this bedroom has a spiral staircase that takes you down to the backyard. Really cool feature. So that is it for today. I have never seen so many kitchens in a house and this house was something really special, huge, huge house. I mean, it honestly to furnish this house, it would take about a million dollars just in furnishing it. I was trying to go through the different spaces. I think you would need easy 14, 15 sofas just to fill space. There's so much, so much space here. Thank you guys so much for coming along. I will be doing another house tour, hopefully next Wednesday. I will see you guys soon. Catch you later.